Hi everyone. So today's uh, episode, if you will, of what it takes to be a hobby breeder is incubators. And it, this gets its own topic because this makes or breaks you. Um, the issue is that without one, you won't hatch any eggs and then you're just producing eggs for no good reason. Um, you, you can get away without one for certain species if you have a warm enough area in your house that's well insulated and you know that that can be done but typically speaking for non-colubrid species you need an incubator because no one's house sits at 90 degrees unless you're 90 years old with on blood thinners no offense <laughs> all right so let's get into this all right so we're going handheld for this one this is my incubator this is not the only way to do an incubator they can be made out of coolers they can be made out of door fridges like this they can be made out of you know dual door sliding um they can be made out of rooms. Um, the, the key to this is it needs to be a sealed environment. So this door, if you look right here, while it's un, unclipped, does not seal well. So I added these safety clips for you know keeping kids in, but they're tight enough that when both of them are clipped, it seals. So we open this up, and there's a piece of heat tape. There's some water bottles to act as um, temperature insulation, uh, prevents you know it sharp drops in temperature. I have the th temperature probe zip tied in the middle right here. It's in the basically the middle upwards and side to side. And this is my thermostat for it. It's not plugged in right now because I'm not expecting eggs. I'll end up plugging it in roughly, um, basically as soon as I start pairing, it'll get plugged in. So I use a Herbstat 2. Um, the most important thing is that it be a pulse proportional or dimming style power uh, thermostat. It needs to not be just the uh, basic on-off style. Uh, the reason why is because you don't want large temperature swings. Large temperature swings can kill your eggs. You will have, um, you basically want it to sit at your desired temperature of, you know, 85, 86, or 90. And you want it to sit there. And when you open and close the door, you don't want it to drop more than a degree because of your insulation in the bottom. And also, you don't want the thermostat to click on and click off at 92 and then the temperature still rises because you're, you know, you're, uh, the heat still has to finish covering the room. Inside of the incubator, you'll also need a fan. Um, my fan is out of this right now because it's inside of my brumation chamber. But the key to all of these is still the same. You have a space with heat tape in it. You have that heat tape connected to a thermostat with the thermostat um, Measuring the air temperature in the center of the room, you have a fan to circulate the air, and you keep it sealed. Um, that is the key to all of it. There's no specific temperature beyond what is specific to the eggs that you're incubating. So if you're incubating two different styles of, um, of snakes, one being a tropical snake, one being a colubrid, you'll need two incubators because one of them will incubate at 90 degrees and one of them will incubate at say 85 degrees or less or more and 
without that stable temperature and without that stable environment, you will lose eggs. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you are one of the fortunate people that have, say, a closet space that has uh, is warm enough to incubate eggs, congratulations. I, I unfortunately don't. Um, so for me, it is an incubator that I can hold multiple clutches of eggs and I have a fan to circulate the air because steel air incubation does not do well for reptile eggs and I maintain temperatures as best as possible. Um, other thermostats beyond the Herpstat 2, for those that are interested, are the, I believe, VE200, definitely the VE300 and the VE300X2. All of the Herpstat models, except for the Herpstat Basic, if I'm not mistaken, and um, I believe possibly the Freedom Breeder as well, but I'm not sure on those. The key is that it has to be that pulse proportional uh, style because it, instead of giving 100 either on or off and overheating the heat, heat tape, it will only give enough power to warm up the, uh, the area as needed. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.